Hello friends, this video on NEET genetics is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 25. A family of five daughters only is expecting sixth issue. The chance of it being a son is... Okay, so the family already had five daughters. Now the sixth child is going to arrive. How do we know whether it will be a son or a daughter? Now this is very simple. So the first statement has been written just to confuse you. Now it doesn't matter how many egg children are al already existing. So anytime if you ask the possibility of having a son or a daughter is always 50%. That's because I've told you before right that how, how do how, what decides whether the child would be a son or a daughter. Now the, as I said that the male has can give can contribute either its X chromosome or its Y chromosome. The female will always give its X chromosome because the female has XX in its X chromosome and the male has XY. Now, if the male gives XX, it will make a girl child. If the male gives Y, it forms XY and it gives you a boy child. So the possibility that a male can give X and a male can give Y is 50-50. So there is a 50% possibility that the male can contribute X. There is a 50% possibility that the male can contribute Y. So it doesn't matter what number of issue this child is. Every time the possibility of a child being a son or a daughter is 50%. Question number 26. Which one of the following is wrongly matched? Transcription, writing information from DNA to RNA. So obviously the first one itself is wrongly matched because transcription is the process of RNA synthesis from DNA templates. Obviously from DNA we synthesize RNA but not to tRNA. So from DNA we synthesize it to mRNA. And the, the enzyme which plays a very critical role uh, is RNA polymerase which catalyzes the transcription of RNA and this entire process of transcription has three major steps that is initiation, elongation and termination. So in initiation what happens the RNA polymerase enzymes binds to DNA so that it can do its job because the main job is done by RNA polymerase. What happens in elongation? In elongation, after the RNA polymerase is bound bind to DNA, it causes the helix of the DNA to open and then causes the elongation of the helix. And in the third step, that is termination, the termination sequence is recognized and RNA polymerase is released from DNA. So in the first step, RNA polymerase binds to DNA. Second step, it elongates DNA. And third step, it gets released from DNA. Question number 27. If one strand of DNA has the nitrogenous base sequence as ATCTG, what would be the complementary RNA strand sequence? Now, as we all know that the basis for the nitrogenous basis for DNA are A, G, C and T, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Similarly, the nitrogenous basis for RNA are A, G, C and U. So instead of thymine, you have uracil in case of RNA. So these are the nitrogenous bases for DNA and RNA. Now, as per the base pairing rule, we know that Cytosine always pairs up with guanine by a triple bond and adenine always pairs up with uracil or thymine by a double bond. So this is the base pairing rule. So now if a sequence on the DNA is given as A, T, C, T, G and you have to find out the complementary RNA sequence, that means you will have to find out that pair or that nitrogenous base which will pair up with each of these for example a a would pair up with what a would pair up with u so this this is the strand for dna this sequence is for dna and now you have to find out the complementary rna sequence so a will pair up with which base in rna so a pairs up with u 
because u is present in rna so this is u now t pairs up with what in rna so t always pairs up with a c pairs up with g t pairs up with a g pairs up with c so therefore the complementary rna strand sequence would be u a g a c so that is option b question number 28 what are the structures called that give an appearance as bits on string in the chromosomes when viewed under electron microscope now if you remember when we were discussing about the structure of the dna in more detail chromosomes and dna we found that dna is wrapped around the histone octamer to form the nucleosomes and one nucleosome contains 200 base pairs of the dna helix nucleosomes in chromatin are seen as bits in string as you see here in this picture under an electron microscope so these bits which you see here these bits are nothing but the nucleosomes question number 29 which one of the following palindromic sequence in dna can be easily cut at about the middle by some particular restriction enzyme now even before we start answering the question what do you mean by palindromic base sequence so palindromic means any such sequence which re reads the same from right to left as it reads from left to right so that is called palindromic sequence so here you have to see that which of these sequence can be very easily cut by a particular restriction enzymes so for that so for any of these sequence to be easily cut by a restriction enzyme it is important that these two sequences should be complementary so now let us compare for each of these options if the two sequences are complementary or not so for the first sequence c a now c doesn't pair up with a so this is not the right option because these two strands complementary means each of these nitrogenous bases should have the corresponding base on the other side such that they follow the base pairing rule let's look at option b g c that's fine a t that's fine again t a is also fine a c but a doesn't pair up with c so this is also not the right option option c g c right a t right a t right t a right t a right c g right so c seems to be the right option question number 30 which one of the following pairs of codons is correctly matched with their function or the signal for a particular amino acid so when you actually look at the entire combination of uh, codons and their respective amino acids so you see that for alanine what are the pairs of codons uh, that we have for alanine so they are g c g g c a g c c and g c u so in this case g u u is not the correct match so this is not the right option stop for stop codon what are the codons that we have u a g u g a u a a so here we are given two out of this so this seems to be a right option what about the start codon or methionine so for this it is a u g so a u g is for the start codon so a c g is not the one leucine for leucine we have u u g and u u a so here also u c a is not the correct one so b is the right option thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you